in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, it's that time of year. It's time to spread poop. <laughs> uh, this is the old girl we bought at that auction sale a couple of years ago. Um, Dad and I done a pile of work to it here. Uh, put a new drive belt on. I have to take everything apart to get the belt in. Not a big deal. Um, and then I got... I did get a full set of new paddles, but some of them weren't worth changing, and some were missing, some were completely fucked, so whatever, we've done that. Greased everything all up, but the biggest issue was there's a big special bushing that goes in here, and it's just about 600 bucks for a new one. So, we got a bearing, and Dad made a little flat iron mount, got everything all squared up, and now she's just on a normal... A normal bearing, so that'll be a lot easier to deal with if that goes out again in the future. Just a $20 bearing instead of a fucking $500 bushing that there's probably only one left of in existence anyways, so. Yeah, anyway, Amanda's just bringing the McCormick. We'll get a load on here. We'll make sure it all works, and then we got to get the other spreader pulled out. It needs new drive belts and a tire put on yet, so. Talk to you in a few. Oh, you took your rally cap off. Okay, well, Keegan's going to learn how to... Well, I already learned how to manure spread. It's not very complicated, is it? No. Nope. So he's going to spread poop, I guess. And then I'll load him and do other things in the in-between times here a little bit. For an hour or so, anyway. And then I'm going to probably run the big swather over to that standing canola because there's a little wee bit of green here and there that we left behind on that first quarter. I'm going to just go swath it. Leave it lay for a little while till we're done beans and then when the combines go back to get parked, that's where they're going to get parked anyways. So they'll be going back with pickups on then go clean up the 10 acres or so that'll be in a swath and that'll be it. So anyway. That's what's happening for now. Off he goes. <laughs> I gave him one lesson. You think he got it under control? Yep. So. <laughs> That's his second load so far. It's working out good here. I'm just about ready to put this... Uh, replacement tire on the other manure spreaders so we can get it up to the shop and start throwing parts at it here after that way but I want to go try try the canola here after dinner and see where it's at the guys are saying it was like ten and a half six o'clock at night there yesterday so it should be good there was a heavy dew and everything here this morning but should still be uh i bet you it'll go after dinner so anyway let's get this together well it's the next day loader on the 46 still waiting on rob to come i think he's finally got the boot for that radial tire so hopefully tomorrow we get that other duel back on because it looks pretty stupid right now i uh, got the big new holland spreader now put back together and hooked on the uh, 4440. I put new drive belts on. Remember last year it kept kicking them off. They were just completely fucked. And then we made a bar on the back because the old girl was getting so wore out the walls were starting to lean and the uh, spreader beater from time to time would actually come right off the uh, splines. So we sucked the back in, end in together. I bet you, oh fuck, I bet you it moved four inches, five inches. 
with a big ratchet strap and then welded that pipe between those two rectangle tubings. So that should have that problem solved. Work on getting a few loads hauled here this evening and then uh, should combine again tomorrow. We actually, well, we spread shit for a while there yesterday morning. Then I moved that swather and cut that bit of green stuff and then at 4 or 4.30 it was actually dry enough to combine so we did uh, a couple truck loads but then uh, today of course it piddled around, cloudy, drizzle a little bit. A neighbor texted from over there, he's combining, it's dry again now but 5 o'clock or 5.30 in the afternoon by the time you fucking get there and get things started and warmed up and get combining, you're only going to have an hour or two anyways at the most, so it's supposed to be a real nice forecast from here on out anyway so it'll just work on other stuff for today I wanted to get these spreaders together anyway and then uh, can give her tomorrow we'll be done tomorrow anyway if everything works right, so they're done the standing canola and then it'll be uh probably a week wait I would say on the soybeans because I just finished desiccating them here the other night so anyway talk to you in a few need to order a fender for that tractor too last winter when it was minus 40 at Oh, what the hell happened? That's the one that the nut fell off that holds it on, the whole mechanism, and it got half ran over and cracked, and then when it was 40 below out, it cracked more, so <laughs> see about getting a new one for it. This is such a better spreader. I mean, that little old girl works all right, but this bigger one is just a fucking beast. <laughs> Loaded as fucking full as you can get it. Unloaded as fast as the floor chain will turn. I know it's nothing compared to these new ones, but by the time the new ones have spread the amount of shit this one has, I don't think there'll be anything fucking left of them, so. <laughs> My phone is damn near dead, so if she fucking cuts out on us, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You did make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more, all that good stuff. Talk to all you in the next one. There we go. Won't take long if things want to work. I do want to haul a few loads to uh, a couple of our other fields a little bit further away and put it on some of the lighter, shittier soil there in a few spots. But for now we're just putting it at home here in the same place we put it last. Well, I guess my phone died on me there, but it's the end of the next day again here. You got a day put in. Uh, combine.
combining canola again. Just about, uh, just about done. So I'm just driving the four ton home. It's right full of canola. Putting it in the hoppers at home here instead of in a flat bottom up behind the trees at grandpa's. Just a little easier to, uh, a little easier to babysit the canola that way when it's in the yard and I can, can see it. So, and then that way I won't have to push snow out behind the trees to get to it or whatever might happen. Had it before where there's so much fucking snow back there. I, I couldn't get to it, so at least you got a cat now if it came down to it, so, but anyway, I think that's enough for this hodgepodge of a video, so if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll talk to all you in the next one.